I've just been working with one of my clients and I noticed that um, he uses Thunderbird email just like I do, but he had 5,000 emails in his inbox, which of course will be impossible to find anything. So I thought what I'd do is I'd show you how I use my Thunderbird and uh, it might give you some tips on how to be more efficient with your email. Now you'll notice uh, that in my Brennett Spinning Planets um, inbox, I've only got about six emails. And the reason for that is, is because I haven't finished with these yet. So I just keep them in there. Um, and once I've finished with them, I'll either delete them or I'll archive them. So with my personal stuff, what I've done over on the right hand side over here is I've created these extra folders. So there's my personal stuff, like my niece's wedding. And then there's some business stuff that shouldn't be accessed uh, by my staff. And then there's different people that work for me and so forth that I've gotten there. Now, I also do the same thing under our business account. Uh, so as an example, uh, we use this follow-ups folder a lot. So you can see under Bryn here, I'll just close some of this up so it's easier to see. I've got... Uh, the present contracts we're working on and the pending contracts that haven't been confirmed yet. So what I do is every Monday morning, uh, the first thing I have to do is go through our follow-ups folder and just make sure that I'm following up with those clients and everything's on track. So instead of having a, like um, a project management tool, we do have one of those too, um, or a customer relations management tool, you can actually just manually do it like this and it's, it's a lot easier and it keeps you on track. Right, let's get back to this issue of having 5,000 emails in your inbox. Um, what I'll do actually, since I've only got a few in there, is I'll go to my trash, and that should have a few thousand in it. It's actually indexing it now at the moment. It's got 16,023. Now, if I wanted to delete, let's say, all the emails from say 2013 all I have to do is right click on that folder and go search messages and then it brings up the search window and I want to search by date that uh, is before and I'll just go actually I'll go 2012 and actually that'll do. So let's just see what it's going to show us. Okay, so it's come up with 114 matches. Now if I wanted to delete those, I could either manually delete them just by clicking on each one, then clicking delete, or I can on my keyboard go control A, which selects the whole lot, and then click delete, and that's going to clean out my email of all of those old messages. I like to keep my trash and my sent messages, so just in case I need to find that information, I can just go back. So as an example, if I change the search query from date to subject, and if I put Massey in there, and I press enter, it's now showing me every subject that has the word Massey in it. So the Thunderbird search tool is really good, and you can use it to you know, find anything that's obscure. Um, a lot of the time I can't remember the email of a person that I sent something to, so I'll just go um, who it was from, and I might just say Jane. You don't even, even if you don't remember their first name, you might know that they came from inspire.net.nz was part of their email address, and you go enter on your keyboards, and these are all the emails from people that um, have emailed me with inspire.net email accounts. Right, let me show you how I create these folders on the left here. It's pretty easy. Um, most people would actually just right click on their inbox and then go new folder and I'll call it Brin example folder. Uh, you can't use dots or apostrophes. And so now we can see we've got a Brin example folder there. So if I want to move anything into it, all I have to do is click on the message and then just drag it over, and now it's in that folder. So if I click on that folder, there's the form query from one of my clients. Better move that back so I don't forget it. I'll show you something else just before I go, which you might like. Um, you'll notice that when I click on write, I've actually got this little drop-down arrow here. 
and I can choose if I want to do it with stationary or without stationary. So here's an example of with stationary, and then it comes up with our spinning planet stationary, and of course if, I, if I'm just sending an internal message, I won't use stationary, and it'll just be nice and blank like that. So how do you do stationary? If you go to your tools menu, and then have a look at add-ons, and it's called stationary, and it's what's called an extension, and um, if you have a look, um, if you click get add-ons, um, it actually shows you all the different add-ons you can get, such as stationary or different plugins over here, I see like we've got Flash running there and Google Talk, but all you have to do is up here, search for stationary, and you can either click that little search button there or press enter. Could not find any matching add-ons. Ah, oh, sorry, it's an extension. So if we search for stationary and extensions, go available add-ons. Ah, oh, it's because I've already got it installed. Oh no, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Station, oh, stationary. I can't spell, or maybe they can't spell. <laughs> and we'll go again, search, and there it is there. And available add-ons, and then it shows you all the other different types of um, stationary extensions or plugins that you can install. There's actually lots of different things that you can install into Thunderbird, um, such as a calendar called Lightning and lots of other things that can automatically write text for you and stuff. I like to keep mine clean so it's fast. You can even get a skin or theme for it so it looks exactly like Outlook. Um, but once you start using Thunderbird, you start really liking it because it's quick and it's free and you can have multiple accounts like this and it doesn't worry about it, it just goes cool. Um, so you, you might be wondering why I've got so many email accounts. Well, support at Spinning Planet, that's actually shared by the Spinning Planet staff. So if somebody's away, we can always see the email that's coming in from our clients who need support. Um, then we've got our newsletter. We use that for testing our newsletter. And then Josh and some different staff ones I've got down there. And even your Gmail, you can put straight into your Thunderbird. So all your email accounts are in one place. So that's how I use Thunderbird. Uh, if you know anything else that you can do with Thunderbird that might be interesting, uh, just post a comment to this and that would be really helpful.